is I left uh, guys on the battlefield who didn't come home. And for that reason, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in it. Retired Army Ranger Jesse Jensen is giving it another run. We know that we're going to take this seat back. Today, Jensen, while touring an Auburn trucking company, announced he will challenge Kim Schreier, joining a race that already includes Republican and former Attorney General candidate Matt Larkin. Jensen ran in 2020, and his Federal Election Commission records show was outspent by millions, yet only fell short by a little more than three points at the polls. Do you think that was a missed opportunity for your party? Absolutely. I, I mean, I was banging on the drums. I was telling everybody that top two primary in August. You can go back and see what I was saying everywhere. We can win. Caleb Heimlich is the Washington State GOP chairman. Unfortunately, uh, with 2020 being a big presidential year, money went elsewhere. Uh, but I don't think national Republicans will make the same mistake. State Democratic Party chair Tina Podlodowski is confident, but also acknowledges. But it's going to take all of us out there knocking those doors, doing those events, making sure people are turning in their ballots to make that happen. And that will also likely mean big spending by both sides, campaign ads, and a race with so-called identity politics, with some of the same questions facing many Republican candidates right now. Do you believe that the insurrection was led by Donald Trump. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, so the events on January 6th are reprehensible. Uh, the folks that are responsible for that are being and should be prosecuted. Do you believe that the election was legitimate? Yeah, President Biden is the president, right? Every single state in the union has certified that vote. I think that absolutely there was fraud in this election. I think that should be investigated. One variable in 2022, just exactly what the 8th district will look like. The Washington State Redistricting Commission is going through the lines for all districts right now and will make a recommendation later this year that could be a factor across the state in the elections next fall. That is the story for now live in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.